everybody. Hi, hello, and welcome to Virtual Storytime. Today, we are gonna be talking all about the season that we are currently in, which is fall. Or autumn, That's just depending. Um, but yeah, we're, we're talking all about that. It doesn't really feel that way outside at this very moment, but uh, hopefully we're hopeful that maybe by the time this video comes out, it'll be a little cooler outside and kind of pretend it's fall, but we are gonna read some great fall themed books and do a really cool puppet show for you. So stay tuned and we will see you in a few minutes. Bye. Bye. Well, we're gonna read a story called Who Loves the Fall? And we're gonna find out who loves fall best of all. Who loves the fall? Rakers and leapers, because of course it's fun to jump in the leaves once you rake them. Corn crop reapers, that's a lot of corn. Growers and pickers and taffy liquors. Don't those look delicious? Taffy covered, covered apples. Quilters and choppers and helicopters. That's what the leaves look like when they fall down. Winged migrators and hibernators. The bear's taking a nap. What do you think he sounds like? Do you think he sounds like Hooters and howlers and loud meowers. Those are cats. What does a cat say? Meow. Bonfire builders and pie crust fillers. Apple pie, yum. Ooh, look at those. Even former caterpillars. Adders and spellers and show and tellers, passers and punters and pumpkin hunters. It is pumpkin season. Trickers and treaters, turkey eaters. Don't you love the fall? The end. And I'm going to read you a story called Leaf Man. Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was headed east past the chickens. What does a chicken say? They go buck, buck, buck. Towards the marsh, over the ducks and geese. What about a duck? Does a duck go quack, quack? A leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. He flew over the turkey, past potatoes, carrots, and cabbages in rows. What does a turkey say? Do you know? Can you go gobble, gobble, gobble? Miss Cammy does a much better turkey than I do. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchards? Or over the prairie meadows? And past the spotted cows? What does a cow say? Moo. Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Maybe leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze. Or flying along the river. or following butterflies going south. Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He might even be traveling north above leaves that look like him. Or flying over mountains with a flock of birds. When leaf man looks down on earth, is he lonesome for a home? Hmm, what do you think? 
This I do know, where a leaf man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. The end. Frogs love green. Green water, green lily pads, green leaves. Green! But Autumn had come to the pond, turning everything red and gold. To Little Frog, red and gold were scary. They were the colors of hot sun and cold blood. She sat on a green lily pad and contemplated the trees. Half of them were now yellow. Two of them were orange. One was bright red. All the rest were still green, sort of. She had never seen such a thing before. Well, she was only a little frog, and it was her first fall. Little frog shuddered. Mama frog jumped up next to her, which made the lily pad sway. Little, little frog usually loves such swaying, but she was still shuddering, so the lily pad shuddered too. Be brave, little frog, said Mama Frog. Most things are, that are scary are only just new. You need to see what they are all about. Listen to their voices. Once you know them, they aren't scary anymore. That was certainly puzzling. Little Frog herself was pretty new, and she wasn't scary. But she always listened to Mama Frog. So that day, in early October, Little Frog decided to try to be brave and see what red and gold were all about, and orange. She hopped back into the water, the dark green water, and began to swim. Her heart was going bumpity bump as she did that backstroke and the side stroke and some frog paddling too, but she made it to the shore. Brave Little Frog. She stuck one toe onto the brown dirt. After green, Little Frog loved brown the best. Brown is soft and comfortable and familiar. She took one step and another and another, though her heart was going thumpity bump and thumpity thump. Brave, brave Little Frog. The Little Frog hopped a bit down the twisty path going towards the wood, the wood that was so full of red and gold and orange. She wasn't sure about orange. Brave, brave little frog. Suddenly, a wind whooshed through the trees. Leaves began to rain down. Red leaves, yellow leaves, orange leaves. Scary leaves in scary colors making a scratchy, scratchy noise. Little frog hopped this way, ran that way, spun about, fell down, ran again. She wasn't being very brave now. By the time she stopped hopping, running, spinning, and falling down, Little Frog was lost. Horribly, miserably, totally lost. Besides, her right leg hurt. There was a little scrape on her knee and a spot of red blood. She shuddered again. Suddenly, she wasn't so sure about red. It was dark in the woods, except for those patches of red and gold and orange, and purple as well. She absolutely was not sure about purple. Strange sounds came from everywhere. Scary sounds. Whirr, chirr, baroom. Little Frog didn't feel brave anymore. All she felt was scared. But then, Little Frog listened more closely, just as Mama Frog had told her to. Whirr. That was the voice of the wind through the trees. Chirr! That was the voice of a squirrel up in a tree. Barum! That was the voice Papa Frog used in the spring. All friendly sounds that she knew. But everything was strange indeed because it wasn't spring. It was autumn. And autumn was scary. Barum! Frightened all over again, Little Frog looked for the sound. And there, sitting on top of a huge pile of red and gold and orange, and yes, even purple leaves, was Papa Frog himself, singing his spring song, even though it was a scary autumn day. Come up, come up, sang Papa Frog. Think of the leaves as a lily pad. Well, they didn't look like a lily pad. They weren't the color of a lily pad. 
but Little Frog tried to imagine them that way. She climbed up the pile thinking, green, 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 all the way to the top, even though the red and gold and orange and purple leaves were scratchy, scratchy underfoot. Then she sat down by Papa Frog right on top of the leaves as if that pile were really a lily pad. There, boomed Papa Frog. That wasn't so bad, was it? For a while, Little Frog thought about how bad it was. Then she thought about how the leaves were actually crispy, how they were gold like the rising sun, orange like the sky at dawn, and red like the sky at sunset. She still wasn't sure about purple. She thought about how autumn leaves made a tickly sound in the wind. They weren't scary at all, only new. Papa Frog was right. Mama Frog was right. Not so bad, she said to Papa Frog. Not the red and orange and gold, he said. She noticed he hadn't mentioned purple. Then Little Frog and Papa Frog slid down the pile together with red and gold and orange and even purple, leaves sliding down all around them. It was so much fun, Little Frog climbed up and slid down again and again. Red and gold and orange are not scary at all, said Little Frog. Not when you really get to know them. Papa Frog looked at the pile again. And purple's not scary either, he said. Only new. At last, arm in arm, Little Frog and Papa Frog happily hopped and danced all the way home to the pond where Mama Frog had made fresh shoe fly pie for dinner, something all three of them knew well. It was still hot, just the way they liked it best, and even better, inside it was all green. The End for watching virtual story time we hope that you enjoyed our fall themed week yes you know like we said sometimes we have to use our imagination with certain things about fall and winter here in florida but it is really fun to pretend that maybe the leaves might turn orange and red gold and even purple Yep, so um, as always, we have a curbside craft for you as well. If you'd like to come pick up those materials either in person or via curbside, we will release the instruction video tomorrow morning at 1030 so that you can see how to make a really cool fall-themed craft. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all soon. Bye! Bye.